the mailman just delivered a new box to me and it is the Ishin Taro 109 for those who are not aware which I cannot doubt it the Taro is the budget brand of Ishin it is the entry level it's mostly aimed at people that are getting into the hobby or people that are just trying to get it drawn for cheap this is the third release the first one was the Taro 99 the second one was the Taro 79 and now we got the Taro 109 now is it really a new release? no I don't think so what they pretty much did is they took the Taro 99 and made some changes some upgrades so let's see what it's in the box we got a couple stickers let me get this motor out All right. this is one of the upgrade they did the Taro 99 came with 2206 I think it was 21 kV those are 2206 2400 kV I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that come on focus uh, so that you can see but yes they are 2206 2400 kV so it's supposed to be a little more a little more powerful uh, we got the flag controller it is pretty much the same flag controller used in the Tower 99 uh, it is the same ESC ah. the capacitor is already soldering how nice of them another change they did as you can see now we have four blade propellers Look like they are 50-40 for blades. They're pretty flexible. I don't know how good they're gonna do on the crash. We found out for sure. Uh, this is the camera. This is one the upgraded D2. I think the 99 has very crappy cameras. Those are supposed to be Cardex cameras. Let's see here. Come on, focus. There you go. So those are Cadex cameras. So hopefully they should be. I mean, I had a couple Cadex, the good quality cameras. And we got the VTX, which is the same VTX than the 99. The only difference is those actually go inside the frame. So they upgraded the they upgraded motors. They upgraded the blade. They changed the frame a little bit so the VTX go inside the frame. But the frame itself is pretty much the same frame. Uh, we got some carbon fiber. We got some more wires here. Look like a battery plate. Provide you with a Pagoda antenna, that's nice. Some more pieces from the frame, and that's pretty much it. Now, there is no manual, but you should be able to download the manual from Ben Good. All right, let's get this baby together. I am done, and everything is put together. It's not an ugly looking drone. I did make a couple changes. I added a DVR and it is powered by the VTX. Your VTX, if you look at it, does have a 5 volt output. 
and I also added my free sky receiver that is a RX 4R I had it for a little while I just took the pin out and I did have an issue with the receiver actually it was not the receiver it was the flight controller at first connected my receiver on the flight controller using the plug-in I was not getting any data from the receiver so what I end up doing is I solder my wire directly on the flight controller it does come with some soldering part for your receiver once I did that the receiver started working fine but another thing is also that I had not able to use a smart port on the flight controller I've got, I've tried multiple times, it's just not working. So I'm not sure if it has to do something with the plug-in too because that's not working either. So I don't have a smart port. I don't have a smart audio. Uh, another thing you may have an issue with is the camera. If you plug in your camera to the flight controller with the little plug-in thing they give you, once you pour on your quad, you get a black screen and this is a Cardex camera is a EOS2 and the voltage input on this camera is supposed to be 3.3 to 9 volts and I believe the voltage output from the flat controller plug-in is more than 9 volts why do I say that? It's because what I end up doing is I took the red wire out of the camera and I got it connected to the buzzer pad which is a 5 volt and once I did that I got camera started working fine so if you're having the black screen or gray screen on your once you power your quad there's two easy solutions for that first one which would be the easiest one you can take the black and red wire and connect it to your VTX as I said earlier the VTX does have a 5 volt output and an extra ground that should get your camera working but I could not do that since I'm using my DVR on the VTX so what I did I just take the red wire and got it connected to my buzzer pad and it's working now I did add a buzzer on mine it's right here the kit does not come with a buzzer it's pretty easy to add up and also I'm not using the Pagoda antenna provided with the kit I'm using a bipolar antenna I think it just it suit my need better but that's pretty much all the change I did um, the big thing is just remember if you if you get a black screen just power your camera either through the 5 volt buzzer pad or just connect it to your VTX alright that's it I'm gonna go out and take it for a flight